He is being mocked in London with a giant inflatable toddler, but is he really more like the boy who cried wolf? John Berman here in for Anderson. That's the question tonight about the president of the United States and how we view him. Have we all become so accustomed to the president lying about things, big and small, that we run the risk of not taking it seriously when he might be telling the truth about something big and important? This all came up because the president held a press event today, and yes, he told a number of lies, which is normal for him, and yeah, that alone is nuts, but it's where we are. And because it's where we've been for several years now, we have adjusted. And because of that, we talked here about whether it's even news anymore when the president lies. But it is. Of course it is. Because it always matters when the president of the United States gets up on the world stage and lies, no matter how big the lie or little. So tonight, keeping them honest, we will be debunking them, but also focusing on how this parade of little lies may be making it tough to take anything the president says seriously, especially those things we really need to take seriously. First, quickly, the little lies. Number one, the protests. I did see a small protest today when I came, very small. So a lot of it is fake news, I hate to say, but you saw the, the people waving the American flag, waving your flag. It was tremendous spirit and love. There was great love. It was an alliance. And I didn't see the protesters until just a little while ago, and it was a very, very small group of people put in for political reasons. So it was fake news. Actually, you can see on the screen, we'll show you, there have been sizable demonstrations. So just because you don't see something doesn't mean it did not happen. Then there's records. The president loves him some records. I have a 90%, 94% approval rating as of this morning in the Republican Party. That's an all-time record. Can you believe that? Isn't that something? I love records. A fact in the Washington Post dug into this one using Gallup data going back decades. They found that Dwight Eisenhower in both George Bushes polled better among Republicans than Donald Trump. Finally, there is this one on Brexit. I really predicted what was going to happen. Some of you remember that prediction. It was a strong prediction made at a certain location on a development we were opening the day before it happened. Keeping them honest, this one is so hard to figure because it's so unnecessary. The president actually did predict Brexit. He did it months before the fact, but not the day before, as he said today, and not at his golf course in Scotland. He did talk about Brexit there, but he did not make any predictions. How could he? Because it was a day after the vote. So he took a true and flattering story and turned it into an easily checkable lie. It's not a big lie. It's a dumb lie. 